Hey guys, we've got a vacation cook up for you today. I'm actually in Portugal on vacation. I'm still out here working, cooking up. It actually hits different cooking up when you're not at home. I don't know why I feel way more motivated out here. Look at this view. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you my new workflow for making melodies because recently I've been trying to make melodies. I just find it way harder than a why and to make stuff that I actually like. It's really annoying. So recently I've been using a lot of accents and phrases and today I'm gonna be using some from Carby's Mini Stash 2 Multi Kit. You've got a bunch of trap, R&B, vintage loops, phrases, vocals, one shots. And my favorite, the Analog Lab Bank. We're gonna go into one shots and accents. I usually start with something just to go off of and then add stuff on top. Ooh. I'm gonna pitch that down one octave and then EQ that a little bit. Just something like that. This one can just be like a background sound. And that's also what I do to make my melody sound more full. Just add a bunch of stuff in the background. And yeah, these one shots and phrases are made with real live instruments and synths. I like to use kits usually from producers that I trust and from hearing their work, you know their kits are gonna be fire. If you don't know Carvey, he's insanely talented and he's known for his fire melodies. You can see it for yourself in his videos and just the crazy amount of placements he's got with his loops. So you already know his kits are gonna be top quality. Yeah, let's bring that in now. And just drown it in reverb. That's usually what I do. I feel bad actually, because Fruity Reverb, we used to be friends, but now I've moved on to Valhalla Vintage Verb. We could have it slowly fading out. So just each one like. Now I'm gonna go to the analog lab bank. Whenever a kit has an analog lab bank, that just sells it. I don't know why, I just need to stack up on as many banks as I can from analog. Maybe a sub bass actually. Should we make this a Don Tolliver kind of thing? I mean, his album just dropped. I have not listened to it yet. So let's just make Don Tolliver lollipop beat, I guess. And then that repeated again. See, it just comes together the more sounds you add. Okay, let's add in like. Doo -doo -doo. And then try follow the notes that I've done before with the bass. So we go down to A. That's kind of weird, but turn it down. this i wouldn't actually make something like this if i started from scratch just the value you get in this kit is crazy and it's only six dollars somehow plus carvey's hit me up with a discount code which will get you 30 percent off it's lollipop 30 i'll put it on the screen so now you can literally get the kit for less than five dollars i'll leave a link in the description so you can go check it out for yourself the kit also comes with a 15 dollars gift card so you're kind of profiting off of buying this kit let's add in maybe from the one shots as well a synth <laughs> We could add in like, yeah. and basically with one shots, I usually go into here and like you do the 808, just have the hold up, but I leave the release like it is as well. Also, I like how the kit isn't too big. I just love multi kits in general because you have the analog lab banks, accents, phrases, one shots, drum loops, whatever. It's not just like a loop kit. And then that's it. Let's maybe add in, lastly, an instrument phrase. I'm gonna cut 
cut out and just loop that first part. Oh, that could be sick. What's Don Tolliver drums like? this a little bit faster as well. God, I'm really realizing when I'm adding these drums, these headphones, when you don't use an interface, it sounds so weird. Can you, can you still film yeah. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> 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 don't know if this is really Don Tolliver kind of 808, but I'm using it anyway. Always put a soft clipper on, master. Genuinely love how this turned out. Okay, it's the final beat. use that kit I genuinely wouldn't have made something like that even starting off with one tiny accent has created this whole thing that is like my workflow now and as you can see how many presets I use from the analog lab bank honestly yeah, that's my, probably my favorite part is that the bank shout out to Carvey it's a fire fire kit the problem with having long hair and wearing headphones is exactly this look so I really hope you enjoyed the video subscribe follow me on Instagram at lollipop beats catch you in the next one I don't know if anyone's just watched me do that but it's kind of embarrassing Thumbnail. No, I'm not using that as a thumbnail.